Heads up, guys. Let me get this over here. Two, fat, two black men found dismembered and chained in Oklahoma pond, not victims of a hate crime, prosecutors say. Now, this is from Fox News. This is a crime three days ago. These are the bodies of the two people who were killed. Jaron Moreland and Elise Smith were found dismembered and chained to cinder block in the Oklahoma City Pond. Two, mo two brothers, their mother and boyfriend, were charged last week and uh, two black men whose bodies were dismembered, chained to cinder block and jumped, dumped in Oklahoma Pond after a gun sale gone bad. Uh, because the two black men were, because the two men were black and all four suspects are white, the de deaths received uh, attention from activists on social media with some complaining of these murders to lynching. The prosecutor handling the case, however, said the killings were not believed to be racially motivated. Maybe not. But here's the thing, people. Well, here's the two guys that killed those boys. Uh, let's see. One guy's held on a $5 million bomb. The other one is jailed on a $3 million bomb. The brother's mother, Crystal Boatletter, 40, is charged as being an accessory to murder. Her boyfriend, Johnny Baker, is charged as being an accessory. Uh, desecration of a corpse and unlaw unlawful removal of a body. Authorities believe the brothers set up a meeting over, over Craigslist to buy a gun from Smith and Moreland. Investigators said uh, the brothers picked up Smith, drove him to a grocery store, parked in a store parking lot, and Moreland approached and entered their van. Police and Garcia, they heard a gun cock and heard their Brett Bonehammer or whatever, immediately turned around and fired approximately four shots from a rifle. Investigators found cleaning products and power works around the vehicle, dried blood splatter on the ceiling of the van. Bucket of water and chainsaw bar beside the soaking in water along with several jigsaw blades. She appears that the gun sale had gone deadly. So watch out for that kind of stuff, people. You know, if you're buying a firearm off of somebody, don't meet them in strange places. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. These kids lost their lives. Both kids are 21. I'll leave a link to this thing and you can read it yourself. Thanks for watching.